hydrogen from Wikipedia, the free encyclopedia at en.wikipedia.org. Hydrogen is a chemical element in the periodic table that has the symbol H and the atomic number 1. At standard temperature and pressure, it is a colorless, odorless, nonmetallic, univalent, tasteless, highly flammable diatomic gas, dihydrogen. With an atomic mass of 1.00794 grams per mole, hydrogen is the lightest element. It is also the most abundant, constituting roughly 75% of the universe's elemental matter. Stars in their main sequence are overwhelmingly composed of hydrogen in its plasma state. Elemental hydrogen is relatively rare on Earth and is industrially produced from hydrocarbons, after which most free hydrogen is used captively, meaning locally at the production site, with the largest markets about equally divided between fossil fuel upgrading, for example hydrocracking, and in ammonia production, mostly for the fertilizer market. The most common naturally occurring isotope of hydrogen contains one electron and an atomic nucleus of one proton. In ionic compounds, it can take on either a positive charge, becoming a cation, a bare proton, or a negative charge, becoming an anion known as a hydride. Hydrogen can form compounds with most elements and is present in water and all organic compounds. It plays a particularly important role in acid-base chemistry in which many reactions involve the exchange of protons between soluble molecules. As the only element for which the Schrodinger equation can be solved analytically, study of energetics and bonding of the hydrogen atom has played a key role in the development of quantum mechanics. Section 1. Nomenclature. The word hydrogen has several different meanings. 1. The name of an element. 2. An atom, sometimes called H dot, that is abundant in space but essentially absent on Earth because it dimerizes. 3. A diatomic molecule that occurs naturally in trace amounts in Earth's atmosphere. Chemists increasingly refer to H subscript 2 as dihydrogen to distinguish this molecule from atomic hydrogen and hydrogen found in other compounds. 4. The atomic constituent within all organic compounds, water, and many other chemical compounds. The elemental forms of hydrogen should not be confused with hydrogen as it appears in chemical compounds. Section 2 History Subsection 1 Discovery of Dihydrogen Hydrogen gas, dihydrogen, was first artificially produced and formally described by T. von Hohenheim, also known as Paracelsus, 1493-1541, via the mixing of metals with strong acids. He was unaware that the flammable gas produced by this chemical reaction was a new chemical element. In 1671, Robert Boyle rediscovered and described the reaction between iron filings and dilute acids, which results in the production of hydrogen gas. In 1766, Henry Cavendish was the first to recognize hydrogen gas as a discrete substance by identifying the gas from a metal acid reaction as inflammable air, and further finding that the gas produces water when burned. Cavendish had stumbled on hydrogen when experimenting with acids in mercury. Although he wrongly assumed that hydrogen was a liberated component of mercury rather than the acid, he was still able to accurately describe several key properties of hydrogen. He is usually given credit with its discovery as an element. In 1783, Antoine Lavoisier gave the element the name of hydrogen, when he, with Laplace, reproduced Cavendish's finding that water is produced when hydrogen is burned. Lavoisier's name for the gas went out. One of the first uses of dihydrogen was for balloons. The dihydrogen was obtained by reacting sulfuric acid and metallic iron. Infamously, dihydrogen was used in the Hindenburg airship that was destroyed in a mid-air fire. Subsection 2. Role and History of Quantum Theory Because of its relatively simple atomic structure, consisting only of a proton and an electron, the hydrogen atom, together with the spectrum of light produced from it or absorbed by it, has been central to the development of the theory of atomic structure. Furthermore, the corresponding simplicity of the hydrogen molecule and the corresponding cation dihydrogen allowed further understanding of the nature of the chemical bond which 
followed shortly after the quantum mechanical treatment of the hydrogen atom had been developed in the mid-1920s. One of the first quantum effects to be explicitly noted, but not understood at the time, was Maxwell's observation, half a century before full quantum mechanical theory arrived. He observed that the specific heat capacity of dihydrogen unaccountably departs from that of a diatomic gas below room temperature and begins to increasingly resemble that of a monatomic gas at cyrogenic temperatures. According to quantum theory, this behavior arises from the spacing of the quantized rotational energy levels, which are particularly wide space in dihydrogen because of its low mass. These widely spaced levels inhibit equal partition of heat energy into rotational motion in hydrogen at low temperatures. Diatomic gases composed of heavier atoms do not have such widely spaced levels and do not exhibit the same effect. Section 3 Natural Occurrence Hydrogen is the most abundant element in the universe, making up 75% of normal matter by mass and over 90% by number of atoms. This element is found in great abundance in stars and gas giant planets. Molecular clouds of dihydrogen are associated with star formation. Hydrogen plays a vital role in powering stars through proton-proton reaction nuclear fusion. Throughout the universe, hydrogen is mostly found in the atomic and plasma states whose properties are quite different from molecular hydrogen. As a plasma, hydrogen's electron and proton are not bound together, resulting in very high electrical conductivity and high emissivity producing the light from the sun and other stars. The charged particles are highly influenced by magnetic and electric fields. For example, in the solar wind, they interact with Earth's magnetosphere, giving rise to Birkeley currents and the aurora. Hydrogen is found in the neutral atomic state in the interstellar medium. The large amount of neutral hydrogen found in the damped limon alpha systems is thought to dominate the cosmological baryonic destiny of the universe up to redshift z equals 4. Under ordinary conditions on Earth, elemental hydrogen exists as the diatomic gas H2 for data C table. However, hydrogen gas is very rare in the Earth's atmosphere, one part per million by volume, because of its light weight which enables it to escape from Earth's gravity more easily than heavier gases. Although H atoms and H2 molecules are abundant in interstellar space, they are difficult to generate, concentrate, and purify on Earth. Most of Earth's hydrogen is in the form of chemical compounds such as hydrocarbons and water, mostly water. Hydrogen gas is produced by some bacteria and algae and is a natural component of flatus. Methane is a hydrogen source of increasing importance. Section 4. The Hydrogen Atom. Subsection 1. Electron Energy Levels. The ground state energy level of the electron in a hydrogen atom is 13.6 electron volts, which is equivalent to an ultraviolet photon of roughly 92 nanometers. The energy levels of hydrogen can be calculated fairly accurately using the Bohr model of the atom, which conceptualizes the electron as orbiting the proton an analogy to the Earth's orbit of the Sun. However, electrons and protons are attracted to one another by the electromagnetic force, while planets and celestial objects are attracted to each other by gravity. Because of the discreditization of angular momentum postulated in early quantum mechanics by Bohr, the electron in the Bohr model can only occupy certain allowed distances from the proton, and therefore only certain allowed energies. A more accurate description of the hydrogen atom comes from a purely quantum mechanical treatment that uses a Schrodinger equation to calculate the probability density of the electron around the proton. Treating the electron as a matter wave reproduces chemical results such as shape of the hydrogen atom more naturally than the particle-based Bohr model, although the energy and spectral results are the same. Modeling the system fully using reduced mass of nucleus and electrons as one would do in a two-body problem in celestial mechanics, yields an even better formula for the hydrogen spectra and also the correct spectral shifts for isotopes, deuterium, and tritium. Very small adjustments in energy levels in the hydrogen atom, which correspond to actual spectral effects, 
may be determined by using a full quantum mechanical theory which corrects for the effects of special relativity and by accounting for quantum effects arising from the production of virtual particles in the vacuum as a result of electric fields. See quantum electrodynamics. In hydrogen gas, the electronic ground state energy level is split into hyperfine structure levels because of magnetic effects of the quantum mechanical spin of the electron and proton. The energy of the atom when the proton and electron spins are aligned is higher than when they are not aligned. The transition between these two states can occur through emission of a photon through a magnetic dipole transition. Radio telescopes can detect the radiation produced in this process which is used to map the distribution of hydrogen in the galaxy. Subsection 2. Isotopes. Hydrogen has three naturally occurring isotopes, denoted H1, H2, and H3. Other highly unstable nuclei, like H4 to H7, have been synthesized in the laboratory but not observed in nature. H1 is the most common hydrogen isotope, with an abundance of more than 99.98%. Because the nucleus of this isotope consists of only a single proton, it is given the descriptive but rarely used formal name protium. H2, the other stable hydrogen isotope, is known as deuterium and contains one proton and one neutron in its nucleus. Deuterium comprises 0 0.0026 to 0.0184% of all hydrogen on Earth. It is not radioactive and does not represent a significant toxicity hazard. Water enriched molecules that include deuterium instead of normal hydrogen is called heavy water. Deuterium and its compounds are used as a non radioactive label in chemical experience and solvents for H1 NMR spectroscopy. Heavy water is used as a neutron moderator and coolant for nuclear reactors. Deuterium is also a potential fuel for commercial nuclear fusion. H3 is known as tritium and contains one proton and two neutrons in its nucleus. It is radioactive, decays through beta decay with a half-life of 12.32 years. Small amounts of tritium occur naturally because of the interaction of cosmic rays with atmospheric gases. Tritium has also been released during nuclear weapon tests. It is used in nuclear fusion reactions, such as a tracer in isotope geochemistry, and specialized in self-powering lighting devices. Tritium is also used in chemical and biological labeling experiments as radioactive label. Hydrogen is the only element that has different names for all of its isotopes in common use today. During the early study of radioactivity, various heavy radioactive isotopes were given names, but such names are no longer used. The symbols D and T, instead of H2 and H3, are sometimes used for deuterium and tritium, but the corresponding symbol P is already used for phosphorus and is not available for protium. Uh, UPEC states that while this use is common, it is not preferred. Section 5. Elemental Molecular Forms There are two types of diatomic hydrogen molecules that differ by the relative spin of their nuclei. In the orthohydrogen form, the spins of the two protons are parallel and form a triplet state. In the parahydrogen form, the spins are antiparallel and form a singlet. At standard temperature and pressure, hydrogen gas contains about 25% of the paraform and 75% of the orthoform, also known as the normal form. The equilibrium ratio of orthohydrogen to parahydrogen depends on temperature, but since the orthoform is an excited state and has a higher energy than the paraform, it is unstable and cannot be purified. At very low temperatures, the equilibrium state is composed almost exclusively of the paraform. The physical properties of pure parahydrogen differ slightly from those of the normal form. The ortho slash para distinction also occurs in other hydrogen containing molecules or functional groups, such as water and methylene. The uncatalyzed interconversion between para and ortho dihydrogen increases with increasing temperature. Thus, rapidly condensed dihydrogen contains large quantities of the high energy ortho form that convert to the para form very slowly. The ortho over para ratio in condensed dihydrogen is an important consideration in the preparation and storage of liquid hydrogen. The conversion from ortho to para 
is exothermic and produces enough heat to evaporate the hydrogen liquid, leading to the loss of the liquefied material. Catalysts for the ortho-para interconversion, such as iron compounds, are used during hydrogen cooling.